What's going on guys and in today's video I want to talk about the new update for the iOS which has just been released for all compatible devices. It's the iOS 11.2.6 as you can see right here. So in today's video I want to talk about the things you should know about this update, if you should really go ahead and do it and what you basically need to know about it. So this is the Apple Flex channel and let's just get started with the video. If this is your first time on the channel, you should start by pressing the big subscribe button and you won't miss any future updates for your iOS just like this one and any other important and interesting videos. So here once again is the update and as you can see it is about 41 megabytes which indicates that there won't be any new features or there won't really be anything new what you can see in terms of the features and new stuff like new icons, new emojis, nothing like that. But as you can see, it fixes a couple of issues. It includes bug fixes just like every update, but as you can see, it also fixes an issue where using certain character sequences could cause apps to crash. And that's the crash I was talking about in a video dedicated just to that. The link can be found in the description and it was the Indian character which basically made your iPhone crash. In the iOS 11.2.6 it has been resolved, it is no longer happening and you can always use that character without your iPhone or any other iPhone being affected. In case you didn't know, this is the Indian character I was talking about and in case you copied this image or this character basically and you would want to send it to someone, uh, it doesn't really matter if it would be over the text message or through Instagram or whatever else, your iPhone or the iPhone of the receiver would simply crash because the iOS 11.2.5 or below was actually not able to read this type of character and it would crash because it would have no idea what to do. And in the 11.2.6 it is fixed. Of course in the 11.3 if you have that version even though it's still in a beta stage it is also fixed there, but if you don't want to go to the beta stage and you want to get rid of this stupid glitch or crash or whatever that is, you should definitely go ahead and update to the 11.2.6. And also it fixes an issue where some third party apps could fail to connect to an external accessory. And uh, this is something that didn't happen to me personally, but I know that there are people who couldn't really connect to their car or some kind of Bluetooth streaming device and that could really be annoying and it is also fixed in this version. But other than that, don't expect to find there any new features, something you could see or emojis as I already said. With this you need to wait for the iOS 11.3 and that one actually brings a lot of new changes and new stuff. If you want to check it out or if you want to see what's coming in that version, just take a look at the description down below and there you will be actually linked to the video where I talk about it in deep and there I talk about the new features and new stuff. So yeah, this update isn't really that interesting but it is also really important and you should definitely go ahead and update. But if there is one thing or one reason why you shouldn't really go ahead and do it is the capacity. I mean, I don't know yet but let's take a look at it. So I made a screenshot before updating, so as you can see this is the 11.2.5 and the storage is, or the available storage of course, is 2.31 gigabytes. And here on the 11.2.6 as you can see it is 2.58 gigabytes. So well, we actually gained a ton of storage. I mean it is not that much, but considering that 200 megabytes just for this tiny update is quite a lot. So you should definitely go ahead and update. I can only recommend you to do it. But of course people that may want to jailbreak they shouldn't really actually go ahead and update that version because it's always better to stay on the older version on the older firmware in case you intend your device to be jailbroken, in case you intend to jailbreak the device in the future. If this is your scenario, if you are the person that waits for the jailbreak then of course stay on the older version, stay on the 11.2.5 or whatever your version is but definitely don't update because you will probably lose the ability to jailbreak in future in case it happens to be a reality. But if you don't want to update you have to keep in mind that somebody can anytime send you this malicious text message and crash your iPhone. But anyways thank you so much for watching I just really wanted to give you this update video because the iOS 11.2.6 has been released bringing two major fixes pretty much nothing else so I didn't want to make this video too long for no reason. So if you enjoyed this video and if you found it useful please leave a like to let me know and also subscribe for more content like this and also some reviews of some devices and Apple Watch coverage, iPad coverage, also some iPhone stuff. So if you are interested in that type of videos then make sure to subscribe and see you in the next video. Peace out.